It was another normal, productive day at Code Weavers. When suddenly... No way! Partial! Partial! Partial, wake up! It says here, Microsoft revenue is down 17 points. 17%. Let's go figure it out. Oh, okay, come on. So how do you think this is going to play out, Cher? All right, you can clearly extrapolate from that line that Microsoft revenue is going to go just like this. That's a classic asymptotic line. All right, and we know that Code Weaver's revenue is on a nice, straight, steady line. And so you come to this date when we overtake Microsoft. Woo! We could barely believe our eyes, but the data was clear and careful analysis revealed the inevitable trajectory of future results for both companies. While Code Weavers would continue implementing strategic enhancements to its core production infrastructure, Microsoft would be bleeding capital. First to go would be Paul Allen's 417-foot mega yacht, followed by steps to economize at the Gates residence. But the brutal logic of the numbers was inescapable. Sometime during the afternoon of August 18th, 2018, Code Weaver's explosive growth would finally overtake Microsoft. The capture and recarpeting of their doomed corporate campus was now only a matter of time. Our first thought was of Steve Ballmer. Would he be able to comprehend this stunning shift in fortunes? How would he react to being number two? We couldn't know, but our course was clear. The decent thing to do was to bring the news about Microsoft's inevitable nosedive to its CEO in person. Not only that, but we wanted to get a jump on picking out new carpet colors. All right, John, get the bags, let's go. Sir. Remember, lighter colors make an office feel much bigger. Oh yeah. The rest of our loyal employees were already downstairs, waiting to give us a rousing send-off. All right, everyone, time for an open source start. Community, all together now. Rebuild the kernel. We build the kernel! Drive! Drive! Now, the thing is, when I'm confronted with this kind of bad news, I always like to confront it right away, up front, so I think this is a courtesy for us to come in and really, you know, give him the understanding what's going to happen. I mean, we are the number two supplier, and it will happen sometime that the number two will overtake the number one. That's usually what goes down. That's yeah, right. Totally natural with that. order of things, and he's just going to have to brace himself for that. Man, I didn't think the traffic was going to be this bad to Seattle. I mean, what the hell? Yeah, I tell you, man. You think everyone's going to Seattle? You know, it's like the vultures. They it's saw the news. The news. You're right. And they're right. circling. They're circling. It's everyone there. Oh, oh man. Oh, everyone's the going. Oh, my. It's. <laughs> All is the good furniture is going to be gone? It's all going to be gone. I'm not going to get an air on. Oh, man. Damn it. If we can really get there in 16 hours, we'll be set. <laughs> 16 hours. It's actually, it's 23 hours, is it? MapQuest says. Well, what is MapQuest? Do? What do they know? Yeah, they don't know how fast I drive. We're open source. You go faster with open source. That's right. See, Everybody that's the whole thing. That. If MapQuest factored that in, they would have said 16 Right. Hours. If Windows 7 had been open source, for instance. That, for instance, then Microsoft yeah. wouldn't be doomed, as they are. As they are, in fact. Right. Right. As the numbers clearly, clearly prove. prove. <laughs> the numbers are uncontroversial. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Wow. <laughs> I have never seen financial data so, so clear so and consistent. So stark in its meaning. Stark! Here it is. 94, 94 West. Let's, let's go. go. Off to Seattle. Seattle, here we go. Red Moon. Oh. Red Moon. Assuming she holds out. Let's yeah. go, baby. When's let's the last go. time you changed the oil in this thing? Uh, well, you know, i got to put a quart in every week, so I don't really change it. I kind of figure that works. Oh, it's kind of like sourdough in that yeah, sense. Yeah, there's, just, just there's always new oil. That's yeah, right. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. Great car, open source all the way. I'm telling you, man. As evidenced by the floppy drive. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. 
Goodbye, Twin Cities. All it's been right. a it's been a oh, great what a place. Great incubator, a it great is. Place it's been a born. great incubator, oh, but yeah. you know, at a like, certain point, you just have to say to yourself, "Hey, it's flyover country, and it's uh, time to move yeah, on to our on. destiny." That's right. That's right. Yeah. Are we there yet? And yet, as we drove west to meet our destiny, I found myself wondering: Would Steve be excited to see us? <laughs> Would he greet us as he might any other worthy competitor, with dignity and respect? Or was there maybe another side to Steve that we'd overlooked? Only time would tell. Ooh, tunnel! Hold your breath! <laughs>